Hey, hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to build and push Docker image to Amazon ECR using GitHub Actions. As you see in this PPT, this PPT depicts my demo. Here, I'm going to show you how to configure uh, the GitHub and GitHub Actions so that it can build the Docker image of your application dynamically and also push the image to Amazon ECR or AWS ECR, right? The flow is something like this. That is a developer who is working with the IDE gonna you know interact with the github with using git right so you're gonna write the docker file you're gonna write the app application file say like app.pi file in the, in the terms of flask api or our flask application right and then we will use the github actions to to run this docker file to create a docker image on the fly and also tag that docker image and finally we use the aws access key and secret and region mechanism that is you know we're gonna use these credentials to access the AWS account and finally upload that image, which is being built in the GitHub Actions to AWS Sierra, right? So this is the in total, uh, you know, the demo, right? So here first, let me walk you through the uh, the workflow files, Docker files, and an example, you know, app.pi file, which is a Flask application, right? So this is my, um, this is my AWS, uh, you know, this is my um, uh, GitHub repository. Uh, in this one, I have uh, you know the workflow file. This is the, my workflow file, which is kept under dot GitHub for slash uh, backward slash workflows, and then the name of my uh, the workflow file is zero hyphen ecr dot yaml, right? And then I have the app dot file, which is the Flask uh, application example, and then we have the Docker file, which is the important file which actually creates a Docker image for us, right? So in total, and, and finally we have requirement dot uh, txt file which actually contains the uh, the you know the 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 uh, modules required for the applications yeah so first one let me quickly walk you through the uh, you know the workflow files how did i write it so first one it contains the name and then it it has the workflow dispatch which means that you know the the workflow would be you know invoked by manually only then we have a jobs in that one i have only one one job that is ecr deployment or in general and deploy and and docker image to the ecr then we have a name uh, then it runs on the Ubuntu latest, which is the default GitHub runner. Then we have a steps. In that steps, we are first step is always default step that is check out the repository or check out the branch basically. Yeah. And then we have uh, uh, the setup that is AWS ECR setup, which is nothing but setting the context of AWS account. So here I'm using the secrets to store the, you know, the credentials of my AWS account. So here I'm using AWS uh, IAM user. So we keep the access key ID, secret access key, and the region in the secrets. I'm going to show you that how we can create that. And then finally, we have another, uh, uh, you know, the GitHub Action API called AWS Amazon ECR login. So we're going to leverage the, you know, so basically this is a very very important point. So here we're going to log into our AWS ECR with using the, you know, the GitHub given, um, you know, the actions that is AWS Action for slash ECR login, right? So login into the AWS account is not enough. To access the you know the to access the AWS or Amazon ECR, you need to also do a one step to log into the ECR, right? That is you know the Elastic Container Registry, right? And then we have a final step of GitHub Action called to build the image and push the image to the ECR. So here we are building the Docker image and pushing that image into the uh, Amazon ECR, right? So here we have the ECR repository being referenced from this uh, stage, and this is the ID, and from that you know we are getting the registry uh, link. And then here we have the registry, uh, you know, the uh, reference that is our ECR repo, yeah. And then finally, uh, image on tag, yeah, that is image tagging. And this is the core Docker command that we are running to build the image and also push the image. The first one is Docker build hyphen T, that is, uh, which is T in the sense, you know, it will start the invocation from the existing, you know, the working directory, right? And then finally, we are running the Docker push to to push the image right so here we are also directly you know, in the sense we are actually uh, tagging the images uh, you know basically uh, uh, you know so basically we are also tagging the image dynamically so generally we are tagging with the tag called latest yeah all right so then um, yeah so then let's go to the next one that is an example app.pi file you might have know that you know we have uh, uh, python flask uh, which is an uh, you know the basically uh, web application framework in the in the python right so here I have written app.pi file, which actually explains the, you know, which actually defines the Flask application. So it has the import of the Flask, random modules and time modules. 
and these are all the syntaxes so basically what it what it has is it has a two functionalities of the flask application one is to just to get the time of unix and then then finally also get the some random number yeah so here we are not dealing with the application functionality we can keep it aside let me jump to the another important file because so here what we are doing is consider this is as your, your application you want to wrap that application as a docker image and push that image into ecr okay that is the main important thing here all right so let me explain how we need to write the docker file in that cases so here we want to uh, basically we want to create an image out of the uh, you know the, the the virtual machine which is having a python right so which is having the python basically python pre-installed machines you can consider like that so here we are downloading the image that is from python this alpine.83.18 yeah and then we have the further default commands of of docker file that is copying the the content present in the existing directory and then run the prerequisite that is the i know so basically run the um, the requirement.txt file so i have the requirement.txt file where i am declaring that you know i need you know flask application in the docker image right and that is what it happens here and so when it runs this uh, requirement that uh, you know the, when it runs pf uh, pip install requirements which is nothing but it installs the you know the prerequisites of the application and wraps the you know while while it wrapping the wrapping that image as a docker image yeah and then we have exposed to the port number 500 this is the environmental variable and finally the commands that is actually the python commands to run is to app.pf file all right so that's a basic very basic uh, docker file image here main aim is to whether can we build the image and can we push the image into the amazon ecr right all right so i have walked you through the you know all the files and what i did is i will just make the you know the unnecessary changes and let's push it yeah so what i do is i will just add some comment here uh, which is uh, uh, does not i don't do nothing basically i'm just adding some comment which does not make sense yeah so i'll just add something like this yeah and what i do is i'm making this change to to sync to my you know upstream github repository so let me make it as a demo yeah and i will commit it basically and then i'm going to sync it yeah so once this is synced let me take you to my github repository yeah so this has been synced if i go to the my github repository so this is my uh, you know the github uh, account this is the uh, repository right now we have uh, pushed something if i go to the code so this is this branch is just now got, got something pushed if i open the app.pf file you should see that you know we have commented this one right and the, the folder structure and the core structure which i explained is as expected right now let's go to the our workflow that is uh, this is the workflow file that is 02-ecr.yaml file right the name of my github action is 02 again ecr only if i go to the github actions i have previously run it which is went successfully but still we can do run this one okay so before going that uh, so we need to do a one more thing in the in the github that is go to the settings go to the uh, basically go to the secrets and variables go to the actions here you need to set the four secrets one is with this name that is aws access key id you need to put the im user access key id so in my case i have this uh, you know so i have uh, this user pin created so from this user i have given the full access basically it has administrator access but in your case you can give full ecr access plus im access and certain required permissions you can give it so in this case i have created this github actions uh, you know as a im user i have uh, you know downloaded the key present you know secret and key present to this key and that is what i have kept it here all right uh, so no worries i'm going to disable this you know so i'm going to um, remove this uh, uh, you know the key from uh, from this uh, im user after the demo so you don't need to try anything hacking yeah all right let me go to the number this one this is the aws ecr repo so here we need to have a prerequisite that is uh, ecr repo has to be created so in this case what i did is i went to the amazon ecr currently i'm in oregon region remember that and if you go to the uh, get started and go to the private repository right so um, or go to the uh, repository just click on repository and click on create repository so you're going to choose these uh, parameters say like do you want the visibility of the repository as a private or public so in my case i have used private and i have given the name like this ecr demo and clicked on a create repository and eventually that has created me a repository something like this right so currently there is an image what i do is i'm going to delete this image so that i can show you that i can get you the confidence that you know it does actually pushes the image okay so once i run the github actions it does push us to the image right so currently we have a very vacant repository it does not has any images so let's go to the um so with that note so this is the ecr repository we get created 
and then you need to create the AWS region as well. So in our case, US West to uh, West one that is Oregon region. So we have added Oregon region as a region. If you see US West two, that is what I have added, and then we have a secret access key, which is a secret of uh, you know the authentication to AWS account, right? So that's all the settings that you need to do in the settings of, of your GitHub Actions. Now let's go to the GitHub Actions and and choose your uh, workflow. Click on Run Workflow because since I have defined the workflow as on dispatch, which means manually invoke, I'm going to choose my branch that is default branch main branch. Click on Run Workflow, which will eventually create another instance of the workflow. This is how it got created. So now I'm going to show you that the this is the live demo. So let's open and see you know how does the job works. So the title of the job is you know the build Docker image and push to ECR. All right. So it has started its job. If you see here, it's actually building the image, right? And once it is also doing the further, you know, the whatever we have defined in the Docker file that is being executed here, and it is started to push as well. Right? Looks like pushing the image has happened very quickly because this image is very smaller in length. That's the reason the push happened very quickly. For example, say if your image is in the GB or in say in the in the terms of MBs, it might take some time. Right? So if I open the build and push the images, you see the image got built, uh, further consecutive, you know, the, the requirements are installed, and then finally the image has been pushed, right? And finally, we see that you know, the pipeline went green. Yeah. And if I go to the now, let's go and check to the uh, you know the Elastic Container Registry of uh, my account. That is this one. If I refresh it, we should see the new image being populated here, right? So this is the just image which we have built now, got pushed, right? Yeah. All right. So with that note, basically what I have shown you here is how we can actually you know uh, uh, how we can actually define the Docker file. Which actually wraps your application as a as a Docker image, and then finally pushes that image into the Amazon ECR, right? With using GitHub Actions, yeah. With that note, I know I have successfully shown you the things need to be in the show, shown in this video. Then finally, a kind request: please do subscribe my channel. That would really encourage me a lot. With that note, thank you. Thanks a lot, and see you in the next video.